Good morning, everybody. Now, regular viewers to our channel may well have seen a video of this property before, but for whatever reason, it didn't garner the interest that we thought it would because it is a, a stone walled, literally stone walled bargain. Uh, whether you want a holiday home in central Portugal or a family home for a, a small family, uh, it's perfect. You, it's an old stone cottage, but it's been modernised and insulated. It, it's cheap to run. There's a couple of tweaks for improvement that could be made, but it's got a big square plot with some already established fruit trees. I, mean, I just don't, we, we don't understand. So we thought, well, we've got a bit better at this video making malarkey. So we thought we'd go and give it another go. So let's fly down, find Sarah and see what she's got to say about it all. But before we do that, let's have a look at the info card. Uh, with the bedrooms, the bathrooms and the square meters, etc. Then we shall move on to uh, the map. So first of all, it is 42 minutes to Coimbra, which is Portugal's third city. And it is 31 minutes to Tamar, the World Heritage Site of Tamar. And an hour and 32 minutes to Lisbon Airport. So let's go and join Sarah. Good morning. We've got nice cooler weather this morning. We are revisiting some of our earlier videos, some of the first ones we did, because hopefully, <laughs> I think we've got a bit better now and we've got a bit of a format rolling and we'd like to show you a better representation of the properties. Now, one of the things about this one is its location. It's really, really hard to find a house which is completely private, but you're not isolated. Of course, the dog started barking a minute. It was peaceful as anything a minute ago. But if Paul just turns around, you can see that there are houses up there. Probably that's why they've started barking, is that we've just come down a little bit further. And maybe if you did a full 360, Paul, there's just fields on the other side. There's some houses there. Less than five, well, it's literally five minutes in a car to Alvia through. We're on the edge of a hamlet and the property just sits on, on, on its own on this road. Uh, very peaceful, not much passing traffic. And as we just, if you just follow me a little bit up, this is the start of the property here. The boundary wall goes up here. And we essentially have a big square garden. This area here, although it's now fenced and with a big cactus in it, at one point there was a camper van parked here. So, I mean, if you ever, if you needed to do that again, obviously you can. They've put in some cactus, made a little bit of decking. It's fenced up here. Now, I'm just going to charge ahead. Big driveway. And then, obviously, mains water, mains electric, internet. Probably hasn't got permanent internet, it's on a dongle. But that's only because of not here all the time. Um, and here's your boundary wall on this side. And it runs quite close to the back of the property here. And then continues along. The wall itself... In some parts, it isn't much of a wall, but you can still see the boundary quite clearly. So, we will go and have a look. Should we just look at this courtyard area first? That's a Nespera tree. Lovely big walnut tree above me. And that large one there, which is actually shading the kitchen window, and the kitchen door, although we use the side door, that's an Espera. There are some dams and, oh yeah, look, that's a dams in there. Oh, 
damsons. Cactus, don't want to fall on that. So he's created a very low maintenance but pretty garden here. Little decking area. In fact, the wooden pole, that's your phone and your internet if it's coming in that manner. Huge olive tree, so they've created this bed here with the stones and the cactus. Doesn't need much water, this just survives on its own. And as we come down here, another large Nespera tree there. And I think it's just a normal oak behind. And then obviously these two beds have in fact been made, but not planted. So there's going to be job, the next job. Shall we carry on with the garden? The buildings on the right here are just outbuildings, storage. And the boundary, are you struggling with the light? Yeah. Okay, well if I just walk over to the boundary. It continues up this, no, oh, <laughs> can't see it. It continues, it follows the wall. Now, I might have just realised it's not quite a rectangle. Okay, here, the wall takes a bit of a curve. That's another walnut tree there. So here, the wall does take a curve around. So you are going to have to follow me, I think. More damsons here, because they're on the floor, I'm walking through them. And the wall continues up this line. I think this is a whole row of damsons. I'm not sure if that's right. Do I really want to try it? It might be really sour. Actually, that's perfectly edible. I'll be taking a crop of those home, I think, actually. So, boundary comes up here and to the end. Do I need to go to the end, maybe? And here. So, apart from that little kink, it's a square rectangle garden. As you can see, Paul's showing you now, you have a number of olive trees. You've also got young fruit trees that were planted sort of within the last five years. We've got some apples, pears. I don't think you've got a cherry. I think you've got some more plums. And then now you're looking directly at the property. Oh yes, there's apples on the tree over there. Now the area that you're seeing now, the patio, outside what is the door at the back of the property obviously they've got the gazebo there put the cover on gives you some shade if you wanted you could always build out and make a wooden shelter shelter area here on the patio so this is around the back of the property so this is the door that leads straight out into the back garden there's a large paved area you can see there's guttering on this back section of the property which leads to water storage buckets and we have okay, going straight through into the house. Now this property has been built as an old stone cottage that's been added on to twice. It's all legal, all the square metres are correct. We've got quite a large lounge come dining room area here there is gas central heating throughout the property and when the renovations were done there was insulation put in behind most of the walls so the walls that are they have insulation um 
insulated plasterboard panels, even some of the stone. So I think I'll have to knock on what, yeah, so that has, for example. And then from here, you go into the kitchen. So it flows quite nicely. It's a good space. And the kitchen here, see that door, that door goes to the side where we were at the beginning of the courtyard filming. Every completely habitable, nice property. There's also, there is space for modernising it if you want to. If you want to put a swish posh new kitchen in, then you can do and that would change it again. But as it stands, it's got everything you need. You've got a cooker, you've got a washing machine, you've got a hob, you've got a fridge freezer, you've got plenty of storage space, and you've got a double sink. So that flows quite nicely coming into here for the dining room and the lounge. And then you can see the details. So this is the original exterior wall. We've got double doors there that I've just come through. And normally one of them shut, and I just thought, why don't I open the doors? And then we come into this area here. So for winter living, you've got this big burner. Uh, that's, this is going to be snug as anything. All the bedrooms lead off this room, as well as the bathroom. I'm focusing on the central fireplace there. And as you can see, you've got the double doors. Now in the winter, you shut those doors that go through to the lounge and the dining room, and this would be very, very warm. Although there's, you can put the radiators on. The, uh, all three bedrooms come from this centralized room here. Uh, you just leave the door open and they would all have warmth. There's double glazing throughout the property. Now this room here, We've got it at the moment, it's got a single bed and a sofa bed. As you can see, it's got the double aspect window. And I do believe now there's something, if you wouldn't mind going over to that corner, Paul. This may or may not. Oh, right, okay. I was told to say automatic lights in the wardrobe. There you go, there's your feature. Okay, good storage space there. Okay, so I'll follow Paul out of this room. So all the windows have blinds on them. And we will go into, so this is the largest of the bedrooms. You've got two, two windows, again, double glazing throughout, shutters on the inside. As big, ward, big, you know, big wardrobe, double bed, chest of drawers, bedside table, and some shelving. It's a nice big room, and it's nice and light. So leaving this master bedroom, we go around and we just turn left and enter what is it's a single room or an office, depends what you need. Again, double glazing. You've got a uh, sort of slate grey tiles on the floor of this bedroom. And then left to the bathroom. Again, completely functional. You have a shower, a bathtub, WC, there's the gas heater in the corner, that's relatively new. And again, the bathroom could be modernised, that hasn't got the double glazing, but it's the only one in the house. So, you know, if you want to make improvements on the property, there is space for improvement with the, with the kitchen and the bathroom it's really good to summarize the property this is the best value basically the cheapest actual home that i have on the books it's insulated it's three bedrooms bathroom dining room come lounge plus lounge good square garden flat land 
approximately 20 olive trees, a whole range of damsons, a couple of large, um, oh, now I can only remember the English, kumquats. What are they called? Nesperus. And walnut, two walnut trees. Location-wise, it's excellent. It's very peaceful, but you're not remotely isolated. <laughs> Those words go together. Um, we're literally five minutes from the town of Alviathri. So Paul will have told you all about that already. For the school runs, it's perfect. Shopping, it's perfect, but it's very, very peaceful. Uh, I, think, I think that pretty much brings us up, doesn't it? But I hope it's been more informative than the first one. I hope we've put a good light on the property. And please do like and subscribe. See you next time.